it is time to make some videos for the new players. And with the new series of Siege Academy, I will cover up all the basics and just slightly advanced things that will make new players ready for the game. With that being said, let's start with the very basics. Timestamps are put, and this will be a very basic video. If you are interested in a tactical shooter that is not only about the aim but also required a bit of brain, then I will strongly recommend you to get the game. Basics first. Our beloved game, Rainbow Six Siege, or short, Siege is a tactical FPS shooter where two teams of five people are fighting against each other. The one team is approaching to the building, and they are called attackers, and the other team is trying to keep the attackers away from the building as much as possible, and let's call them defenders. There are three online game modes, which are hostage, secure, and bomb. You should avoid playing hostage and secure, as they are the most casual and very imbalanced game modes. You can disable game modes as you wish in the matchmaking preference, by clicking settings and just follow what I do. Also, if you will ever try to be slightly more competitive later on, they will teach you pretty bad habits. As you could see, this game is all about the game modes, so not only an as a taker you want to get in the building, but your goal is to do the objective. In short, in hostage, you have to rescue the hostage by running with him outside of the building. In secure objective, a taker had to be in the objective room, called biohazard container, for 10 seconds. If any defender steps into the room, the timer stops. This also means that if no one pushes anyone, the round can be stalled a lot. Finally, the only competitive game mode, Bomb. Unlike the other two game modes, this game mode has two objective rooms, and attackers have to plant a diffuser in one out of two rooms. Once the diffuser is down, defenders have 38 seconds to start counter defusing it, or 40 seconds in the quick play, or newcomer. If defenders counter defused, the defenders win. If they fail to counter defuse, attackers win. Another way of winning a round, aside from playing objective, is to kill the whole other team. If the defuser is planted, then defenders will still have to counter defuse it, even if all attackers died. However, it is way easier to play the objective, as an attacker, and force the defenders to come to you. The reason why this game is defender sided is that defenders can win in case the round timer passes out. If the timer is zero in the bomb, and an attacker is planting the diffuser, the attacker still may win if the planter is not interrupted. The same thing applies if there is an attacker in the biohazard container, or if he is having a hostage. That is why it is easier to defend than attack, as the attackers are forced to make the play, whereas defenders are just trying to adapt to attackers and let them push in. It is important to note that there is no such thing as camping in this game, due to the vertical as well as the horizontal destruction in this game. We will talk about these topics in the other Siege Academy videos. So to recap, three game modes and try to play objective to force defenders going in your way. Also, when you're defending, have at least two people in the objective room, if we are talking about the bomb. On the other hand, it is usually never recommended to have all five players in objective. It is very important to keep attackers away from the building, to keep them as far from the objective as possible, and then slowly but steadily move back to the site. The timer is defender's best friend. Siege also comes with many different operators, and believe it or not, most of them are viable, especially if you are a new player. They are always the meta operators or the operators that are making how the game is played. 
just like in the most other games. But you cannot go wrong with picking anyone else. Each operator brings usually their unique primary and a secondary weapon. They also bring a secondary gadget that you must not forget to use in the round. Attackers have the following secondary gadgets. Flashes, frags and smoke grenades. They also have claymores to stop the flank, as well as soft and hard breaching secondary gadgets. More about the secondary gadgets will be said in another Siege Academy video. Finally, operators bring their own unique ability, or primary gadget. These are usually the reasons why you pick one operator over another operator, and this is what makes Siege what Siege is. There are so many different approaches to every objective that makes the rounds unique on their own every single time. Would I recommend you to buy this game? Definitely. Developers have already planned this and the next year, what is yet to come. And we will most likely have a continued support to the game. In the next episode, we will cover up the most efficient way of learning the maps. So stay tuned for that one. Also, if you're a bit advanced player and has any tip for the new players, or something that you wish you knew before you started the game, make sure to let other people know down in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this video and staying with me for this long, and thanks all the patrons and YouTube members for making this video available. If you want to learn all the basics and advanced things about the siege, make sure to give me a like, subscribe and click the notification bell to get all notifications from my channel. Make sure to give me feedback down in the comment section below.